That is very serious. I mean, uh, not only did she lie to parliament, she lied to the whole nation. And yes, as PAC, our position is that uh, she must be disciplined. And, you know, if she had morals, she could just resign. Because clearly uh, she has first difficulties, you know, in ensuring that there's discipline, you know, in the management of debt. There's discipline in the management of expenditure in the government. So I think we need a minister of finance that can actually tell off the president and say, Mr. President, we are actually, you know, in a ditch. And this and this and this, like, jets cannot be done. But we don't see that happening. So she's not inspiring. A call for Finance Minister Margaret Monacato to resign on moral grounds. This follows an order by Speaker of the National Assembly, Dr. Patrick Matabin, that Ms. Monacate misled the House when she said the Eurobond was being serviced using foreign exchange reserves, which statement she strongly rubbished when queried further. Honorable members, upon assessing the Honorable Minister's two statements against the definitions of the word backtrack, mislead, and contradict. It is clear that the Honorable Minister backtracked from her earlier statement that the payment of interest on Eurobonds had contributed to the decline in the country's foreign reserves. It is further evident that due to the backtracking, the Honorable Minister uttered contradictory statements on the floor of the House and as a consequence misled House. The Honorable Minister was therefore out of order. On the other hand, People's Alliance for Change President and Fort Banda says government must come out clear on the debt acquisition and servicing. From the last uh, an, I mean, uh, a press conference that was held by the Bank of Zambia, it was clear that uh, the foreign reserve were depleting. Uh, and of course, this is as a result of uh, uh, debt servicing. And uh, one thing that is uh, surprising us is that uh, the, um, the Minister of Finance, uh, or rather the government, has not been very truthful uh, as regards to, to, to the position of uh, Zambia's debt. And uh, for all we know, what has been announced could not actually be the true picture of what it is. Uh, there is no commitment from the PF government to actually you know, sort out... Uh, you know, the current debt situation. Also, the other issue that we've noticed is that uh, there's no discipline um, uh, from them. Look at uh, what we've just uh, seen recently. Uh, uh, new aircrafts were being bought on credit, uh, of course, I mean, which are very unnecessary. Mr. Bandafed observes that social service delivery will continue to be affected if debt is not properly managed. The debt will come with all its own effects. You know, there will be uh, low-level service delivery. You find that you go to hospitals, you won't find medicines. You go to schools, you know, um, you know, uh, pupils cannot have the, the right equipment and materials that they need. We have already seen that uh, 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 last month, you know, February, uh, civil servant salaries were delayed. And we've seen a number of, uh, you know, local government uh, uh, departments, such as the councils, have not, you know, paid salaries to uh, to their employees for a long time. Because what's supposed to happen is that uh, if the council cannot pay salaries, the government, through the Ministry of Com uh, Local Government, is supposed to chip in and, you know, uh, uh, you know, fund, you know, those activities. The finance minister was being asked why foreign exchange reserves were dropping when she claimed it was due to servicing of the euro bond. But since the indication of using foreign exchange reserves to pay back the euro bond was rubbished, speculation still surrounds the cause of declining foreign reserves. Some civil society organizations that include Transparency International Zambia and Action Aid have demanded that the finance minister be disciplined for telling lies in parliament. Will she be disciplined? Or is a mere declaration that she misled the House and was out of order enough to deter others from peddling lies in Parliament? Mwapekwenda, Prime TV News, Lusaka.